Hey Spuds, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am joined by many beautiful people. <laughs> we have Shaba, that you know, Hello. but also the lovely Claude and Jessica. Hi. And today, we're going to be talking everything babies. The little pooping, crying machines. I think everybody's a bit broody. That's the what little they pooping, are. crying machines. Yeah, they are. They I poop, they cry, so they cry, they poop. I know. We, we just suddenly were like, about a year ago, we were like, yeah, we want kids in the future, like, but we're not quite ready. And then suddenly out of nowhere, it's like, I want one now! No. <laughs> we, we can't go to Primark. That's what it is. Shall that we go through key. the baby clothes oh. bit? And it's like, we need a baby. If you want to make oh. someone broody, take them to Primark at the little booties. <laughs> Oh no. no, it's TK Maxx for me all oh, the way. Okay. We went to Tesco and they had the tiniest little yellow welly boots. Oh, that were polka oh, dot. Welly boots? Oh. Welly boots are not even considered. <laughs> so, specifically on the topic of babies, we're going to talk about kind of fears and things yeah. around being LGBTQ plus parents mm -hmm. and the process of that. Firstly, why don't we start by everyone explaining their LGBT plus identities? I mean, you guys know who we are, but you may not know Jesse and Cole. So I, um, I have been gay since birth. <laughs> <laughs> I came out and I was like, that's a girl baby, he's real cute. <laughs> so I just always knew that I was gonna grow up and marry a girl and we would have babies together. And it didn't quite, you know, twig in my mind that that wasn't necessarily possible. And then I met Claudia. Well, <laughs> 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 I mean, I had a life, stuff happened, it's fine. I only had one girlfriend before you. Yes. And I met you. We've been together for five and a half years. Cute. And married for three and, and a half. And married for three and a half, oh. yeah. And when did you sort of start thinking about babies? Date number one. <laughs> oh. Actually, to be fair, we... Being stereotype. Yeah, um, what, that we like do everything is. really fast? We, yeah. <laughs> we, we are the lesbian stereotype. Yeah. So we had our first date and we were like, you're pretty great, you're pretty great too. And then we had our second date and we're like, yeah, no, I think you might be the one. We had our third date, she came over, I cooked her dinner, and she didn't leave. Didn't, yeah. Like, oh. That's when we moved in together. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I had my own room, and I was renting my own room somewhere else, but I just she went back there to get <laughs> clothes and do laundry. So mm -hmm. then on my birthday, we've been together for about five months, four or five months, mm -hmm. um, she surprised me on a trip in Rome. I was like, let's get married. Oh, oh my God. So, I mean, we've already spoken about this, but are you broody? We're very broody. So broody. What makes so you broody. broody, apart from tiny little clothes? And to be honest, we were super, super broody. And when we got married, we were like, oh, we should still thinking about having a baby. And then Claudia's sister had a baby and we were like, oh, oh um, we're gonna broody. wait Yeah, kind of put us off for a little bit. Hey. It's okay. We, woo, you're sweet, but please go home. We also now. We've, been, we've been involved in a lot of babysitting duties, yes. so we kind of got like, and because he's not our baby, we can't settle him. We couldn't settle him as much, I guess. Okay. I, feel I feel like whenever we babysit like sisters and stuff, you feel the cuteness, and then you give it back. Before not if you're doing like an overnight stay with like a six-month-old baby. True, yeah. and yeah. you're not its mum. Yeah. Because then you're like, like, do you want milk? Do you want a like, nappy change? No, and, just and, just mom, yeah. Yeah. and you're like, yeah. well, we can't. <laughs> yeah. And Jessica's fine because she's like, I'm just taking my hair in it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's easy to get my soul. I have to actually leave the house. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did a baby in the family make you less broody for a bit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely. I think my broodiness has got so much worse okay. because he is lovely now. Oh, you're okay. like, you're such a sweet little human. I can put up with that crying and the the pooing just to get to this and, and they're so beautiful little yeah. I kind of I'm looking forward to like the little squishy like nappy pooey baby squishy nappies yeah I know she's all for it she's all for it squish the nappy do you know what I can't resist little baby feet Oh. Going back toes. to your wellies and oh my jeans. God. You know the booties. <laughs> <laughs> so I think all four of us are 100% on the broodiness. Yes. Mm. Yes. It's just how we make that happen. So there are a, a number couple of, of issues yeah. with us making a baby. The most obvious one being <laughs> we're both female, and then neither of us makes sperm. So that has to come from somewhere else. Yeah. Also, I have genetic disabilities, which mean not only that I can't carry a baby, but also that my genetics are not necessarily ones you want to replicate. The NHS can pay for me to have a baby that uses my egg, and then they can do all like the medical stuff, blah, blah, blah. 
but it has to be the first child that we have, it takes forever, it's a long Basically, it was like, process. Basically, it was kind of a weird thing, because because she's got a genetic um, condition that's passable, like 50-50, then you can have what we call pre-genetic determination. So they would, really? so they do IVF on you. So they would extract her eggs, create an embryo, test them for the genetic disability, right, and okay. then the ones that didn't have it would get re-implant, like implanted into yeah. Claudia. So, no, okay. but if it was, oh, yeah. if Jessica was a heter heterosexual woman with a husband, with a you know a male partner, then there would be the issue that, that she would have to get a surrogate because yeah. she doesn't actually uh, yeah. like can't carry. So actually, it was in her. Fate, it's in your favour that you're a lesbian with another woman oh, who's yeah. in the womb. So they yeah. were like, oh well, you could probably do this and not have like a, to do the the surrogacy fees. The reason we didn't go for it was because it took so we we got referred, but we were on the referral for like ages before we even got a letter. Yeah. And then they said that we'd have to have the treatment in London. They would have to give Jessica like hormone therapy yes, to get her eggs, beforehand. and then they'd have to give me the treatment as the surrogate. And it was just like really complicated. We're like at the end of the day, and I don't that I would have to go put my body through a lot and mm. it already really struggles with sure. anything mm. relating to my hormones yeah. and I was like do I care enough about yeah. having a child that is biologically related to me mm -hmm. in order to put myself and Claudia through all of this stress yeah. and I was like you know what I just I yeah don't. at the end of the day we were just like we had a conversation we we're just like wherever the child come from comes from it's gonna be our child whether it's biologically ours or yeah. adopted or yeah. you I've, know I've always grown up knowing that I want to adopt, but then there's like the issue with adoption is that as a disabled person, I can't prove I can look after a child until I have a child. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that. luckily it happened. It's all worked out well for you because you have a wife who has a, who has a, hopefully a working her working. Working with we'll working find out. And, and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> no, who knows? But yeah, so that's the kind of the path that we have to go down. But definitely yeah. the disability adds just another level of fun yeah, to yeah. the lesbianism. <laughs> In a similar way, whilst we're not both female, we also don't have the stunts. Mm. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, that's also something we've been exploring. Um, yeah. Much like you, Jesse, I've always wanted to adopt as well. I said that before I met Jamie or knew mm -hmm. anything about what LGBT plus meant. Um, but an older child, so I knew yeah. I wanted a biological yeah. child first, um, and I think you're on board with that. Yes. Um, yeah. You certainly want biological children. Yeah, um, yeah. But I'm very open to adoption yeah. because mm -hmm. my mum was adopted. It went fantastic. Oh, cool. Like it's really cute. So like that's something that's really an option for yeah, me. Yeah, it's funny because we had yeah. different upbringings. So your family yeah. had a sort of what my family would call a broken family, and I, I know I'm using that in a stigmatized way. Mm. But obviously, I don't feel that that's how it has to be. But in mm. my past experience, that is how it's been. So up until sort of meeting Christina and being able to talk about that, I was very adamant that I wanted to be biologically related to yeah. my child, mm -hmm. and I wanted my partner to be because. I couldn't see a world where you could not be biologically related and it would still function happily. Yeah. 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 Does that make sense? I, think I come from the same sort of line because Jessica got diagnosed when you were about 16, 17, or you knew that you, and throughout your teen years before you were diagnosed, you knew something was not quite right with yourself. She'd already like, from a young age, yeah. told herself she probably wasn't going to be able to have her own biological children. Mm -hmm. Whereas I didn't even come out as gay until I was like, early 20s mm. so for all of my life up until that point I was like yeah of course I'm having I'm my own kids yeah. you know gonna get a husband yeah. we'll get married we'll have kids so to then suddenly switch yeah. that off is like yeah. oh like no this is this is my idea of what represents family life to me yeah. Yeah. yeah it's innate isn't it for most people that you want to like be biologically related mm. to your kids and like as a trans person that was something that was posted when I was 17 and they were like do you want to freeze your eggs because testosterone really will likely make you a fertile. I'm yeah. like, that's heavy for 17. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing is they were like, you need to use them within 10 years. Oh. So yeah. I decided oh. not to. Because I've got to freeze like, them at 17 and have children before 27. Yeah. 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 And so I chose not to. Honestly, it took me up until probably a year ago to fully accept that I probably wouldn't be biologically related to my kids. And it used to be something I struggled with really badly. Even though I see adoption very positively, yeah. I was like, oh my God. So when I would see like friends having babies, pe even people on TV, I would like cry a bit. Yeah. And like, yeah. I'd be yeah. like, oh, that's never gonna happen for me. And I also felt bad I couldn't do that for Shava and like mm. have yeah. kids together in like the kind of traditional way. I felt guilty. It doesn't um, make you inadequate in any way. Yeah, yeah, inadequate was a word I used a lot. But recently, 
I've been very much like, no, oh, actually, I'm cool with this. It's yeah. good, because like, they're gonna be our kids anyway. I did not care about it at all until my doctor told me, oh, actually, we could do that on the NHS. That's a possibility. We could have a child mm. that's biologically yours. And I was like, what? <laughs> and it really tore me up for a bit, mm. just knowing that that was a possibility. And I actually feel better now that it's not something we're doing. It is okay. still a possibility, yeah. but we've just decided not to go down yeah. that road. Yeah. 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 I think it's better though, I also you almost have that choice, you yeah. know, when you can mm. say. I was like, wow, I wish you kind of hadn't given me that choice. It seemed a bit more straightforward for us, but then but I have PCOS, places to go syndrome. Oh my god, I love that you guys were like, so we, like, we're gonna make this video about like queer babies, and it's turned into, wait, disability in babies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's intersection. Yeah, yeah. There you go. we're, we're doing our job. <laughs> <Good> job. <laughs> well, we're talking about the fears of parenthood and, and yeah, this, yeah. conception. Well, yeah. it was important mm -hmm. to me, because then when that happened to me, I was just like, oh crap, like you'd had a long time to deal with it yourself. I'm yeah, not and it took a long diminishing. time. To, yeah, yeah, but I saw yeah. how much you struggled, and for me, I was sort of like, Maybe it's a culture I was brought up in as well. I was like, does this mm. make me less of a woman? The fact that mm. I can't bear children. It was odd. It was I didn't mm. expect to feel that way. So that was interesting. Um, yeah. But so the route now is Well but hopefully we're still like hopefully I will still have eggs and be able to do it. They yeah, said yeah. they said but they said Shaba would likely whatever partner Shaba was with, IVF yeah. was likely gonna have be to have needed. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's great for you. So so it yeah. worked out as oh, well, you know. Okay. But if IVF Oh, well, regardless of whether IVF is an option, we've been keeping an eye on the news on a new thing that's come Science. out, like IVG, oh. which is in vitro gametogenesis. We've hey. done a video specifically <laughs> on this. If you want to take yes, a look, you, yeah, Shab has done one. I will put a link in the description box. Well, so we it did makes one sense. together one as well. I'm gonna go yeah. watch what that. What is it? IG. IVG. As IVG. IVF. The next letter yeah. in the alphabet. Along. <laughs> so it basically means they're able to take cells from me revert them back to a stage of being a baby cell. So basically cell make sperm cells. And make, yeah, make yeah. them grow into little sperm cells. And then outside, ah. the, outside of the body, do an IVF Fertilize process where, so yeah, we yeah. have to have biological babies. Is this I'm, currently an option? They say it How much, much money do you have to put down on this? We're, they can do saving. it in mice. <laughs> They've done it in mice successfully, yeah. and the mice have been able to conceive. But they think the IVG might be possible within five years within wow. for humans. Wow! Years, yeah. And is it just needs yeah. ethical clearance at this We're point? We're looking at having babies around 30 and with 25, 26, so yeah. it kind of works out, yeah, like totally. just. So so wow, another five years of Shaba not being able to go into Primark. Oh, all the booties I will sell. Whoa, you think we've got a collection. <laughs> so your first plan of a baby will be five years-ish? Ish. If, if we can wait, wait that long. So you're gonna hold out. If we can. You're gonna hold out. So you're, yeah. I'm like, you guys are pretty broody. Yeah, you're right. Like, I um, know, it's so Have bad. you considered just, you know, <laughs> Giving it a shot. Yeah. We've already sort of discussed the next question, which was fears about the baby making process. Oh, so we've spoken mm, about yeah. the, how it affects our identities and that sort of thing. Are there any other fears that you guys sort of have been thinking or talking about? We live in Brighton, which, if you don't know, is that what <laughs> oh, I wasn't going? even going for that. Oh, although okay. hilariously, the sign for Brighton is this, which is the sign for expensive. Oh, or how it is. But we live in Brighton, and it is known colloquially as the gay capital of the UK. Never crosses my mind that we are different. No one even cares <laughs> what, what I'm wearing. There's like a guy in a bikini yeah. on rollerblades. <laughs> they actually yeah. do, they actually do it. There's a Brighton it. annual naked cycle ride, so there's yeah. naked people cycle oh. through the city. I mean, literally yeah. no one cares about us. They're like, oh, it's that naked riding. And then <laughs> we go to somewhere like London, and suddenly people in the street are looking looking at us and looking at our hands and the fact mm. we're holding hands it's like, oh, mm. oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh. And also when we pick up our um, nephew from nursery, there's definitely like quite a few yeah. gay parents there already and we're oh, like... Cute. So very... we love that we can bring up our children in this environment, but then we also love the idea of living somewhere that's a bit more rural, mm. loving the idea of living in a little village, but then it's like, but we can't. Well, I don't know, I'm not, I'm kind of growing off the idea of living in a village. Yeah, place. but just the kind of the aspect of I don't want, I wouldn't want our children to be the only ones in school who felt like, oh, mums are different. Yeah. I will say though, I feel like the media and the world are progressing mm. to where that is yes. less of an issue. Mm. I've yeah. seen education recently. Like, yeah. yeah that, I, I love yeah. how they just normalised. It wasn't even something that was spoken about. Yeah, so. And I was like, that's fantastic. 
that was an amazing representation. Oh, One yeah, of the characters like, yeah. has two moms, mums. Yeah. it's not a thing. And that's the childhood I want our children mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. So we have straight privilege, right? Even though we're not straight, no one would be able to tell. Well, oh. we're a straight couple, but within yes. the, it's like, it's kind of like- Do you, are you still uh, called a straight couple though? If the two of you aren't straight? This well, confuses yeah, me. Yeah, I think, I we are in a we are in you just a like, heterosexual relationship, yeah. but like within that relationship, we're both we LGBT. Yeah, like, yeah. LGBT. Yeah. yeah, so we have that privilege of our kids will go to school, and for the other kids, there will be a mum and a dad. Yeah, but you it's have kind a of hidden fear in terms of the trans. Thing. I have a fear I'm going to get rejected by my own kids for being trans because it's not something I want to keep secret. Yeah, I'm like they're gonna find out, especially because I do, do this. this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. and like. I would not want them to find out like when I'm 70 or something. Yeah. You don't want to do the sit down when they're 18 and go, yeah. Yeah. I think you just like, I think if you, tell, you. if you tell them from the very start, like then it's not ever going to be an issue. It's just that fear. I think it's just yeah. like, it's like a, a fear of like, as an LGBT plus person, just being rejected for who you are. Mm. And I think, oh, what if I like tell our kids that I'm trans and they're like, Ew. But also, like, I don't, yeah, I'm don't. i sure they the won't be because like, like, we would like, not bring them up I, to be like that. I think that you're like projecting like like I said, older generations views yeah, yeah, on yeah. you as a yeah. young person onto your child, but the younger generation already, yeah. just one generation below oh, us, yeah, are already God. so much My more, cousin's yeah. kids like, who are all liberal. teenagers, like it has not crossed their minds that we are in any way weird, different, yeah. Odd. They came to our wedding, they were like, this is way better. <laughs> they were like, two dresses to look at. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. At the time they were seven. My twin oh, sisters. Oh, sisters. Yeah. And they were just like, we were like, this is going to be a big deal. We might have to deal with some difficult questions. Oh, yeah. Well, she just went, clever. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb. Yeah. And we were like, do you have any like, questions? Do you, do anything. Like, no. Uh, no. I think we get yeah. it. Yeah, they're way more like, think, into it. I'm like confident it will be fine. Yeah. But it's just that like irrational I... bit. That's Jessica like... has the same fear. So her, your fear is trans identity. Your, her fear is her disabled or chronic illness and how she feels like that makes her less able. So your fear is, is the same, that you feel like yeah. you'll get rejected, well not rejected, I feel but like my kids won't she love worry, She's worried that her kids won't love her. Because, yeah. 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 And I was they like, will. why not? Well, because I feel like I won't be able to do everything. I'm like, I can give you all of the love in my heart and I can give you a very stable, emotionally parent. Like, I am but very, however, physically, some days I can't get out of bed. So. Yeah, but, but in both instances, even though they're for different reasons, you've just got your own personal fears, but your yeah. children won't feel mm. like that. It's our own internalised It's what issues. It's what your children will know, and as long as they're getting that like love of a yeah. parent, that's... See, I'm see like I'm saying it's going to be fine for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it's going to be fine for you. So do you know Take what? We're both going to be fine. <laughs> it's all right. We'll, we'll be texting each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. With relationships as well, where one of you is going to be the biological parent of a child and the other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. isn't, there is the obvious yes. fear as well of families. If the child was biologically mine, would your family love it as much as if it was biologically yours? Your biological child are my family going to love as much? It's very difficult to I know, and I don't fear. think mm. people can you know, can know their reactions. Mm. We Your actually, parents won't know how they react been reading until they this do. Book about babies, and there's some evidence that um, maternal line of family will be closer. So your the maternal grandma grandparents will kind of be closer to their grandchildren than the paternal side, mm. and they think it may be because there's no hard proof that that um, baby is actually from that paternal side. Wow. So where is they- Hardwired yeah. to really? go, woman to had baby. So, we, yeah, yeah. so oh, we're kind wow. of hardwired to think that. Like, mm -hmm. So we're like, we're never quite sure, you know? It's more obvious culturally as well, where, yeah. where I'm from. Like, like I know for your fact. Cult, your family would struggle with it more. Like, so yeah. if our children were biologically related to me, but not Shaba, it's quite obvious Shaba's family would struggle with that and they've been open with that. And they were but, more, I, I'm sure that they would yeah. show, or maybe even if it was unconscious, they would certainly be more attentive and supportive yeah. to my sister. Yeah. I, to kids so I, I love that yeah. we've done a layer of like LGBTQ plus parenting, <laughs> then, then we did a layer of disabled parenting. <laughs> Do you want to bring in like race? Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> when we were looking at using my egg, I was really, really adamant that should we do that, I wanted sperm that was half Malaysian. And I was like, that's very sweet. And you were like, <laughs> good luck. 
Because I wouldn't want, like, I'd want to be able to take our children to see your family in Malaysia, and I wouldn't want them to look at between these two children and be like, you're the one that's, you know, actually Malaysian, and you're the one that's not. Yeah. We had a similar thing, so we've been talking about it. If we were to do the IVF thing, because Jamie, whilst you didn't freeze your eggs, there's a mm -hmm. potential that if Jamie went off hormones and went through other treatment, that they could he extract. may be able really? to. Yeah, oh, wow. everything is still there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're almost sort of like on is a it just in stasis? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, like on a ship going into space. Cryogenic sleep. <laughs> Cryogenic. Yeah. 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 We, we could have done where we would both have a each. biological, but then we were like, what would the sperm donor be? Because yeah. if they were white, we'd have one fully brown <laughs> baby, one white or one white. Yeah, then come on, you'd be like, we don't know which is <laughs> which. <laughs> if we did that where we had two kids and we used one egg from each but we wanted them to look the same because different we're mixed sperm. race. They would need different dads and then they would not be biologically mm. related to each other at all. Yeah. So we were like, oh, questions, decisions. So we're just gonna go down the route, sharp as egg. If they can make sperm for me in some way, fantastic. Uh, if they can't, we'll use a donor that matches me yeah. in as many Or David like, Tennant or Zach Braff. Yes, 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 if you don't know them. this, if you've never looked on a sperm donor website, <laughs> uh, they match every man to like, Vague celebrity. You'd be amazed how many apparently look like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> really? Oh and then the final uh, fear, I guess, is cost, particularly for us in the IBG, uh because -huh. if that is available soon, it certainly wouldn't be on the NHS. Mm. So cool, twenty grand. I know. Well, we're already. We, we've actually <laughs> sorted out. Like, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Bring it back. Bring it back. Deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> so now we've got like we have our savings, and like we're like we're going to buy this house, mm. and we will sell this to have a baby. It is genuinely mm. in our thought process. Yeah. Like, that is so bizarre. Yeah, I wonder protecting the baby how money. many couples feel the need to yeah. invest for their future baby. Not as in going to college, but. To have the baby. Yeah, yeah. There's something else that's like a pet peeve, and I have mentioned it online once before, and I don't know if maybe you disagree, but one thing that bugs me is when people go, Why do you have to go through such efforts to have kids? Just adopt. There are so many yeah, babies out yeah. there. It's the pressure. Oh, I yeah. do you yeah. talk this about to this? Pet people yeah. We talked about this recently. Yeah. I felt like that. We did a little about question babies. and answer thing from yeah. Instagram, and a lot of people had to say, like, Why don't you just adopt? And I find mm. it quite like a it's also, upsetting question because it's like trying to make you feel a bit shameful for wanting your own biological yeah. child. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, this world's already suffering with so much like global warming and blah, 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 but and you're just making it worse. Every, and it's like, everybody should, no matter what their sexual orientation, gender identity, every couple wanting a kid should be said, why don't you adopt? I agree. The, yeah. the, the question the should be, should be everyone. it should be like a neutral thing of like, it's not, oh, you have to go through an extra yeah. step. I, you should be the ones yeah. that adopt. As a disabled person, find it quite an upsetting question because it's something I'd love to do. It's not something I have control over whether it can happen or not because someone can say no to me. Mm. Mm. So what about adopting? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm not in the privileged position where I can go to an adoption agency. Yeah. They'll be like, nah. The last time I had this conversation was with someone who had kids at a very young age and who had like five kids. And I just think it's and they it's told almost you to a adopt. Yeah. Teeth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not judging people who want to have kids at a young age or who find themselves in that position and decide to go through with it. You do you. They're kind of at like time, they're kind of saying to LGBT people like, oh can you offset our carbon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In a very practical way. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have yeah. kids because I can, but because you can't, can you just do this can you do like this thing that you know yeah. I'm glad my frustration's valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. glad that you're also suffering the frustration but I see where the question comes from in yeah. terms of like the world population and everything. Mm. But it does just feel unfair that yeah. it's put on set groups of people and set couples when it should be either a universal thing or nobody should be put under pressure. Mm. And I feel and like I feel that fear and hurt a lot more because it's harder for us to do. <laughs> what I find quite upsetting as well is a bit like, um, as a heterosexual couple, you can just say, oh, we've been trying for two years and, um, and we can't naturally conceive. And then the NHS will pay for them to have treatment. Mm. Whereas as um, a same sex couple, we have to pay for a, about, six rounds. about six rounds of IUI, which costs like about eighteen hundred pounds a time, mm. before we can prove it hasn't worked, and then the NHS possibly will pay, but probably not. Ooh. Yeah, they'll only consider us after. So you basically, it's basically saying you have to be financial. You have to be quite wealthy. Twenty grand. Better yeah. off. You have to be quite wealthy before you can before you're allowed to have children. Mm. Like as I were. To be fair, I don't even know if it's available for couples where somebody's trans. I've heard of some people talking about it, but I don't know if it differs to like 
same-sex same sex gay couples. Yeah. It, I'm not sure. I imagine it's you different, different in every county in the UK. Yeah. Well, in Brighton, yeah. seeing that it's like the UK capital of the gay, I think it would be like quite forward, but yeah. it's not like... Um, oh. So if you're a same-sex or trans couple or whatever, like you have to pay. Yeah. They don't fund it. They only fund heterosexual couples. I wonder if that would happen because I have PCOS as well, because I'm... We cannot conceive naturally and you have PCOS. I wonder if we <laughs> yeah, would then no, no, yeah. have a heterosexual there might be some do something or... Yeah, that'd be so interesting. They might, they'd probably still think, oh well, he's trans so you've not even been able to try, so therefore yeah. you still have to pay. Maybe. I'm making assumptions now, but... Oh my gosh, I want to go speak to a Sometimes I'm just yes. like, we can't we just I say like, we've been trying for this. years. Yeah, we actually <laughs> have just five and a half and it's not worked. The book said... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any anything else you wanted to add? No. no? No, this has been a fun a video. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be long. It's been <laughs> very Good luck to fun editing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you could learn some stuff. And if you are an LGBTQ plus parent or prospective parent, I hope this could be useful. Leave your comments down below if you found any advice or fears of your own. Definitely go check out Jessica's wonderful channel. She is amazing, beautiful. Go. Link is down oh. in the description box. And Shaba's link is also there. It's not just <laughs> and Jessica we filmed a video for my channel, yes. which will also be down in the link in the description. Yes, okay. where we yes. spoke about the flip side to the babies, the happy things, the cheery stuff, the hopeful stuff. The I think we covered quite a lot of cheery stuff to. in this one as well. Yeah, it wasn't as scary. Yeah, it wasn't. As I it wasn't yeah. that. Yeah. Boring, so for the broody of you, all right, pop along. Also, I just yeah. want to say there are adorable dogs on this channel. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye. Why Talk about babies all the time. Spice?